All done on live. Y'all see me struggling to get in this thing. All right, here we go. Shit. I'm going to figure out what, what was... Oh, I see why. Because of the way it's, it is. But this um beautiful Christmas gift, it comes with a bling anal plug. It also comes with the nipple clamps, a vibrant cock ring, and a vibrator. So this is a great kiss, Christmas gift for um people who are into kink fetishes or you just want to do something new or we got couples that's getting married around Christmas time. This is going to be a great gift for them. Now, y'all see, it, it took me a lot of time to get this open. Goodness. All right. So last week we talked about um, the staining of the panties and the, um, the pH of the vagina. I really want you all to stay tuned because I know a lot of y'all feel like because you're having sex, you know everything that you need to know about your vagina. But let me just say this. If you keep going to the doctor and they keep telling you that you're experiencing bacteria vaginosis, you really need to pay attention to this live. You really need to stay logged on. If you keep getting a little itchy feeling, you need to stay on. You need to tag somebody because this is about to be some awesome information that I'm about to give you. Okay, so the woman's vagina, we normally stay at a, between a 3.5 and a 4 because our vagina is acidic, right? Right, okay. And then as you go on the chart and you go up, you start to get a neutralized um, pH. That's where your water is going to be, okay? But then it starts to go in a whole nother direction to where it gets stronger. And then we have the lit alkaline, okay? That's where you have your ammonias and your bleaches and all of this kind of stuff like that. Well, the thing is, our pH is supposed to maintain at a 3.57, right? I mean, 3.54, 4.5. 4 As we start getting older and we start going through menopause, we start to go up to like a 5 vaginally, right? And I explained to you the reason why you take probiotics and prebiotics. Um, prebiotics, you can take them in pill form. A lot of times it's um, things that we can eat that will help with the prebiotics. Our gut health, meaning internal medicine, our gut health plays a major role in our vaginal health, okay? A lot of times people say you are what you eat. That is so true. That is so true. If you notice that you keep getting reoccurring bacteria vaginosis or any type of yeast or uh, they like to put everything under this uh, vaginitis type of umbrella, I want you to pay attention to your nutrition. Remember, I was telling you last week how important yogurt is because it introduces good bacteria to the body and we can't eat that and yogurt is an excellent probiotic. But a lot of times when you keep getting BV over and over again, it's because you are intaking too much um, processed foods. You're taking in too much raw sugar um, and not enough natural sugar. So it's a big difference. Your natural sugars are going to be like your fruit. It's going to be just your regular stuff that you can get out the produce section, raw fruit. Those are going to be more of your natural sugars, okay? But then we have the processed ones, which is going to be like our Snickers, our candy bars, our, um, our donuts, anything sugary like that that we eat with powdered sugar. You know how we just went to the fair. They had the funnel cakes and all of that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that's actually throwing off your pH. That's the stuff that is causing you to continue to get BV and yeast and all of this kind of stuff over and over and over again because your intake of your raw sugar is too high. So when people say, I don't understand why I keep getting this over and over again, your doctor should be telling you that it's because of what you're consuming. If you love fried chicken, fried chicken is not your friend. Yes, we love the way fried chicken tastes, but the thing is, it's cooked in grease. Grease is another thing that interrupts the vaginal, um, that, that gives us that BV and all of this kind of stuff over and over again. So our nutrition is playing a major role in why we keep getting all of these vaginal irritations and why our pH is being thrown off is directly related to our nutrition. And keep in mind, our vagina is, the pH is, it ranges between a 3.5 and a 4, 4.5, somewhere up in there. 
when the men come in us, their semen is at a seven. So you, in order to be at a healthy range, you at 3.5, 4.5, but then you introducing this semen into your vaginal canal, who pH is a seven. That seven completely, it can throw, it can throw your vagina completely off. It can throw your pH completely off, especially if you're not eating right. So one, we already got him coming in us, he introducing a seven, how can we help with that? We can go pee right after we have sex. Yes, we can. We can wash up right after we have sex. Yes, we can. We can use condoms. That way he doesn't even come inside of us. Yes, we can. But if he's going to come inside of us and we know that he's going to come inside of us, then we have an obligation to make sure that we're eating right. Because between you not eating right and his semen, it's keeping you at the doctor. I'm going to say that again. Between you not eating right and his semen is keeping you at the doctor. If you keep going getting all these quick foods, processed food, McDonald's, um, I'm going to say Burger King, all these fast food places, quick foods, and you're not getting enough good natural foods in, good fruit and fiber and all of this kind of stuff, you, can, you, you will be at the doctor a whole lot. I just went mud riding this weekend. And one of the main concerns that I had, y'all, was mud getting in my coochie. I was like, oh, no, can't no mud get up in here, baby. I was like, okay, y'all, what, what y'all be doing to keep the mud from getting in there? Because the thing is, I am constantly on guard to keep my pH the way it's supposed to be. Because I know that any little thing can aggravate it. Any little thing will have me at the doctor. Any little thing. So that means that I know this. That's why when I go, I don't really do hot tubs and stuff unless it's um, at a hotel where they have the chlorine and all of that in it. Pools, chlorine, uh-huh. But this summer, I didn't even do a lot of swimming because there was a chlorine shortage. So I knew that they couldn't clean up the bacteria in the pools like they were supposed to and in the hot tubs like they were supposed to. So I opted not to even get in because I didn't want to take a chance on it. Because the chlorine is what keeps us safe. And there was a chlorine shortage. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is we have to be knowledgeable and we have to be on guard when it comes down to our pH. We want to make sure that we're getting good bacteria into our body, just like I said with the probiotic, with the yogurt. We want to make sure we're getting good bacteria into our body, right? And another thing is we want to make sure that we're consuming more natural sugar than raw sugar. And even I'm a person that uh, is guilty of it because I like white sugar, not sweeteners and all this other stuff in my coffee. I like real sugar in my coffee. So that means that I'm taking in natural, I'm, I'm taking in raw sugar every day just in my coffee. But I call myself balancing it by drinking water for the rest of the day. So my water intake is very high. So now keep in mind, you getting dick, that is, um, the pH is a seven. You eating processed foods, right? And then you got the nerd not to like to drink water. Y'all know the people that I'm talking about that be water nasty. How is water nasty? Water is fulfilling. It quenches a thirst. So if you're a person that's drinking all of these sugary this and cokes and everything got to have flavor and taste and all of this kind of stuff, that is the reason why you're constantly at the doctor. Because you're throwing your pH off because of your gut health, meaning what you're taking in. So you want to make sure that, again, you're drinking your water and minding your business, of course. That you're getting in good natural sugar if you're going to take in any sugar. That's going to be your fruits um, and your nuts, your vegetables, all of this kind of stuff. Just natural things. You want to make sure you're getting that in. And if you really want to be on the safe side, make sure that he's using a condom. Okay, that is going to wrap it up for me today um, on my live. Oh, one last thing, queefing. I forgot I was supposed to talk about queefing today. I had somebody send me a message and she was saying that her vagina was just making all kind of noise. Okay, sweetheart, that is called queefing. You're not having a vaginal fart or anything like that. What is happening is when he's pulling out, air is going into your vagina. So when he thrusts back in, the air is coming out and it's making that sound. 
So that is what you're experiencing. It's called queefing. All right. So again, I knew I wanted to make sure I addressed that because somebody asked me that. So I want to make sure I address that. Um, again, we do have the Christmas stuff is starting to come in. We do have, this is called the Passion Heart Kit. This is on the website and it actually hangs up like an ornament on the tree. It is already look, it, it's already ready for being gift. You ain't got to do nothing to it. It already got the little bow and everything on it. And then we do have the tails in stock, okay? And as you can see, I done broke my nail in the middle of this live trying to open up this kit. So, yes, yes, yes. But we're going to go on anyhow. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your Monday. Make sure that you're getting in those natural sugars versus the raw sugars so that you can keep your pH balanced. That way you don't want to, you won't have to worry about being at the hospital or the doctor's office uh, talking about you itching, burning, scratching because your pH keep, get, keep getting thrown off because you keep getting BV, yeast, and all of this stuff over and over again. It's directly related to your nutrition. All right. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day.